The Potato Pirate King regrets to inform you that there shall be no skit this time due to the amount of speed we have to go through to get this done in time. He begs your forgiveness and offers a sincere apology. my witches and wizards, this is Professor Rowan. I'm coming to you today from my library on Thanksgiving weekend. So, happy Thanksgiving to those of you who are in the U.S. and celebrate the feasting day, and happy, you know, feasting day news, like, sales events, I guess, for any part of the world not in the United States. Coming to you real quick today to talk about Constance Lament Part 2. It's another four-day brilliant event, and it's going to be starting Monday at 11 a.m. my local time. It goes from the 29th to December 3rd, and since it ends at 11 a.m. my local time, and I work during the day, I have to get everything finished by when I go to bed the night before. So this is going to be kind of a sprint again. There will be a free store pack with enough ingredients to brew your own tonic for trace detection, um, dark detectors, and spell energy. The foundables you will be finding out in the wild are the Brilliant Vanishing Cabinet and the Portrait of Albus Dumbledore. The ones you will be getting from your rune stones are Conspiring Snape and Draco Malfoy. The port keys will be giving you Poison Oak Matured Mead, which in my opinion means poisoned mead, and that's just absolutely horrible. Why would you do that? Meat is too delicious to poison. It's just wrong. And for getting all the way through part four, um, you will be getting Regis Black's Locket, which is, I believe, a fake of a Horcrux. Now, this is a sprint of an event, and we don't have any notification of any regular foundables being boosted on the map at this time. So we've got a lot to do, only four three and a half days to do it in. Um, yeah, we're just going to get right into it. But before we do, I do want to say that I will be streaming on Twitch at 5 p.m. Pacific time on Monday. So the day that this event starts. And I'm going to be trying to get through as many quests as possible during that time. So if you'd like to join me and hang out while we're doing that, it's from 5 to 7 on Twitch, and the link will be in the description below. As usual in a brilliant event, do not place images until told to do so. And this is very especially, do not place the images until told to do so. Also, um, do not go into your registry until told to do so. And now, on to our quests. Quest one has you picking three things up off the map. Doesn't matter what things, pick three things up energy, port keys, what have you. That gives you 20 gold. You also need to brew three potions, which you can have done and ready ahead of time and waiting for you when you show up. Those three will give you 20 gold. Finally, you need to return 12 of the Brilliant Vanishing Cabinet. 12 of those make two Estimulo potions. You might have to use a tonic for trace detection for that. Completing quest one gives you 550 wizarding XP. 50 Brilliant Family XP, 2 Restricted Section Books, and Spell Energy. Quest 2 is when you are going to be collecting those rune stones. Um, so you'll get at least one from the 50 XP from the first part, but I, it might be a bit of a grind to get all of the XP you're going to need in time for 2. You may need to um, make, like if you have any port keys left over from last time, or grind trying to find every foundable you can. You need six of those brilliant rune stones and it will reward you with five bitterroot. You also need to cast your master's notes on potions five times. And this is gonna slow things down unless you have gold burning in your pocket and you need to use it up. Um, I would suggest setting yourself a timer, make sure it's there. That will get you 30 gold. Finally, you need to cast 15 fair or better Arresto Momentum spells, but fair is the minimum you can do, so just, you know, the Arresto Momentum spells. 15 casts gives you two Dottledrot. 
Completing Quest 2 gets you 750 Wizarding XP, 75 Brilliant Family XP, 3 Restricted Section Books, and Spell Energy. Quest 3, I strongly encourage you to use at least one Tonic of Trace Detection. You will need to return 10 of the Brilliant Vanishing Cabinets, not 12, just 10. That will give you 3 Silver Keys. You will need to cast 5 Finite Spells. That spell is used on both of the Brilliants from the first part of this event, the Bludger and Neville Longbottom, so hopefully if you use a Tonic for Trace Detection, you'll get a couple of those. Finally, you need to return 15 of Sirius Snape. The reason I say that is it's an odd is because we have no notification that Servius is going to be boosted um, during this event, and I sincerely hope that if you have to collect 15 of him, that he will be boosted. So uh, please make sure that you're using a Tonic of Trace Detection for this part. That will get you three strong Stimula Potions. Completing Quest 3 gives you 1,250 Wizarding XP, 75 Brilliant Family XP, Restricted Section Books, and Spell Energy. Quest 4, I encourage you to do in this order. Drink yourself a Brain Elixir and go into the Fortress, because you are going to be needing to collect Wizarding XP from Challenges. 2,500 Wizarding XP to be exact. That will get you two Spell Books. Might I encourage you while you're in there to be using the brilliant rune stones that you had to collect from earlier so that you can hopefully place a bunch of images onto the registry page. You need to place five of the registry images and if you have been walking the port keys, you still only have four available. So you're gonna to wanna to be collecting as many of those conspiring wiz wizards as possible. That will get you two more spell books. Finally, you have to collect 15 mysterious notes from brilliant foundables. If you're not able to get yourself enough conspirators in order to place that image twice, then hopefully you're going to be able to get enough of one of the two foundables to, that are in the wild to place them twice. Or, you know, enough rune stones to go back in and try again. That will get you two more spell books. Completing quest four gives you five restricted section books, five Defense Against the Dark Arts books, 50 gold, 30 spell energy, and Regulus Black's fake locket. And now on to the bonus challenge. Now that Adventure Sync is no longer broken, I may not have to do the bonus challenge. I might be able to get the port key um, opened in time. But in case uh, you don't have the ability to get those port keys open in time, Make sure you grind through quick enough that you can get yourself to and through the bonus challenge. Again, we have no notification of anything regular foundables wise being boosted on the map at this time. So first off, we're going to have to return 10 magical games and sports, any of the magical games and sports foundables, and that will be rewarding you with witch sharpening potions. Return two of Tom Riddle. Again, no notification that these are going to be boosted, but we need to return two Tom Riddles. That will get you two spell books. Return 15 Brilliant Foundables. Doesn't matter which one of the four available, just 15 of them. That will get you two potent Estimula Potions. Earn 12,500 Wizarding XP from any source. So just make sure you're drinking a Brain Elixir while you're grinding through doing all this other stuff, you most likely will get it. That will get you two Silver Keys. Finally, defeat 15 formidable foes in Wizarding Challenges. Those are the ones with two stars. So that means you're going to be in the Upper Ruins or Lower Tower Chambers. They will also give you two spell books. Completing the bonus assignment gives you 2,000 Wizarding XP, 100 Brilliant Family XP, 5 Defense Against the Dark Arts books, a Brilliant Achievement Badge, Spell Energy, and all of the Poison Oak drink that you need to place the image. I don't really have any new tips or tricks on how to get through this. Um, it's going to be a lot of staying focused, a lot of tonic for trace detections. Like, seriously, a lot of tonic for trace detections. The reason I think you should go for the 15 note, mysterious notes um, at the end of quest four is so that if you have any time left over on that tonic for trace detection, because I'm assuming you're gonna need to use one, um, it will bleed over into your bonus challenge. Um, 
but yeah, it's it's gonna be a little hard to do without that. So I have strong encouragement for uh, drinking them tonics. And even though this is a quick event, the difficulty does not feel like it's been reduced. Um, yeah, you have to do 15 instead of 45 for the bonus challenge, but still, it's only four days. So good luck. I hope we all get through it in time. I am getting a little sick and tired of going through a brilliant event and not being able to place all the images. So um, hopefully we will get through this one together. If you have any questions or comments or ideas on how to get through this quickly and easily, please put them in the comments below or anything else you want to share by that matter. Um, if the heads up we are able to give you is helpful for you, please like, subscribe, share. It really does help us out. Uh, I know that we're getting this out to you in less than 24 hours notice. Um, that's because the information came out in less than 24 hours notice. So we get it out to you as quickly as we can. Thank you so much to our patrons because you guys help make all of this crazy possible. And the patrons do get access to our videos early while I'm still trying to figure out how to make the thumbnails. If you guys would like to help out either by becoming a patron or by consuming a jittery beverage, the link for those are in the description below. I'm in a sprint. I've got to get this done and out to you like five hours ago. So I got to go and edit. You guys take care. And remember to keep your eyes peeled, your ears open, and your wands ready.